Okay, I'm going to show you today how I process uh, multiple Photoshop files uh, from a CSV file. So in today's case, what I'm actually going to be doing is generating locker plates uh, based on roster information. Uh, and I don't want to have to open each PSD file and change the text and save it and then open another one. Um, so I'm going to process it all from a, from a, a single data file. Uh, this is also how I process headshots for uh, the video scoreboard. The same same process, and for sports like football, where you have, you know, hundreds of players, uh, it makes this process go a whole lot faster. So to start with, uh, you need your data, um, and it's basically you just need a CSV file. Uh, you can do it in Excel. You can do it in uh, a te just generic text editor, um, and you'll see. Uh, L name, F name, location. These are the data fields that I'm going to use. And you'll see that these names match up in my PST file. So uh, this is the document. This is what I want all the locker name plates to look like. And so to start with, I have to define data fields. So I'm going to go into image, variables, and define. Um, and under here, under layer, uh, you can see those are all my layers. Uh, and we'll select location, and you can see it's starred there because that one is actually already defined as a data field. Uh, I want it as a text replacement, and the name will be location. And I do the same thing for first name, and the same thing for last name. So I'll click OK. Then I come back into image, variables, and data sets. So I want to import a data set, select the file. It's a CSV file, so swimming roster. And we're going to use first column for data set names, and that was uh, what I showed you uh, in the Excel in uh, the text editor. And we're going to replace existing data sets as well, so whatever was in there from a, a prior operation will be gone. So click OK. And so now we can see that we'll click Apply. And there we go, Basker Armstrong. And we can actually go through each of these data sets and, and see who's in there. So I'm going to click OK. Looks all right. So now the data, data sets are applied, and I want to export the files. So I'm going to go File, Export, Data Sets as Files. Um, I, this is just my naming convention. Um, right now it's just data set name, uh, which is usually the first field in the data set, which is last name. So it's just going to be a uh, last name. You could set this up however you wanted. Um, and we want to select a folder. And we're going to go swimming locker plates. And you can see right there, that's where it's going to dump everything. And I want it to do. I could select each individual data set, um, but I want to do all of them at once. So I'm just going to click OK, uh, and it's going to do its thing. And so if I pull up Bridge, you can see that it's already done. There they all are. Each one is a PSD, um, and it's done. So if there was a mistake or if for someone had a really long name, uh, then I needed to tweak how it looked a little bit. Um, these are all PSD files, so I could just double click on it, open it, and change it in any way I needed to. Um, and so there's all my documents. And then when I'm ready to have these printed, then I can use Tools, Photoshop, Image Processor. And I'm going to select the folder I want to have processed. It's on my desktop. Right, and so right now, uh, it's going to process those 13 files from Bridge, uh, and it's going to save in the same location. Uh, it's going to save them as JPEGs, so it actually doesn't matter. Or I could uh, come in here and make a new folder and call it JPEG. Although actually, I think it was going to it will do that automatically anyways. Okay, I'm going to save as JPEG, quality 12, and then we're just going to run it. So then I can go. You can see it's 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 going through each one. If I open Bridge. I can see JPEG. 
Oh, yes, and it does create a folder automatically for you. Um, so there they are. It's gr they're gradually popping up. So there's everything as a JPEG. And I can send those to the printer. They can print them. And easy. Done. Uh, just a couple seconds. And you can have all these done. Um, it takes just about the same amount of time, whether you have uh, two or three or you have 100. So that's how I did it. It's, it's pretty straightforward. And you can see um, all the options uh, where you could use something like this.